Hi there, I'm Thomas. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you an easy fingerstyle version of Scarborough Affair, a guitar solo. Let's do this. We're going to break this down section by section. And then at the end, I'll play a version that's all together. So you can fast forward if you want to hear what the whole thing sounds like. We'll start off with the intro. Now I'm going to spend just a little extra time on this intro because it's the finger picking pattern that we're going to use throughout the song. Basically, we're using a finger picking pattern like this. And then we're combining that with the melody. The first part of the melody is. So we're going to combine those two together. Let's start off with the intro. Sounds like this. So I want to start with that last little pattern because that's sort of the fundamental pattern that we're using throughout. Make your A minor chord, that's the first finger on the first fret of the second string, then I'm going to put my second and third fingers together on the fourth and third strings. Bass note is on the fifth string, so put your thumb on the fifth string, first finger in the right hand on the fourth string, and the second finger on the third string? Third string, yes. By the way, we are going to eventually use that third finger on the second string in this pattern. So start with thumb, one, two, one, two, one. That's the basic pattern. And I'm talking right hand. Thumb, first finger, second, first, second. Let's try it together. Thumb on the fifth string, place all your fingers, and let's pull them off now one at a time. Thumb down. One, two, one, two, one. And again, thumb, one, two, one, two, one. That's the basic pattern. To start this, we're going to actually incorporate the third finger to break it up a little bit. So it sounds like this. Thumb, one, two, one, three, one. And then it goes to the G chord. Let's do the A minor. Ready? Together. Thumb, one, two, one, three, one. Now, to make the G chord, you stretch your third finger over to the sixth string, third fret, and you're going to play all the same notes except for the thumb goes down to the sixth string. Thumb. Like that. We're going to play a little melody on that G chord. Listen. So in my left hand, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the thumb on the sixth string, fourth string, open third string. I'm putting my second finger down. Now open second string. And when I come back to the third string, I open it up again. Now the right hand, it's thumb, one, two, one, two, one. And, and by the way, this is not set in stone. If you like to use your third finger and that really feels comfortable for you, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's try that together now, slowly. Start with the thumb. Ready, go. Thumb, one, two, one, two, one. And then repeat that. A minor, ready, go. Thumb. And to the G now. And we're going to finish that with just the A minor pattern, like we did in the beginning, and then it twice. Watch this last part. Actually, don't hit the very last note. I let it hang there, kind of anticipating the next phrase, which starts with the melody. Let's just try that whole intro slowly all together. Make your A minor together. Ready? Hit it. To the G. I'll call out the right hand now. Thumb, one, two, one, three, one. Thumb, one, two, one. Two, one, and on to the A minor. One more time. Thumb, one, two, one, two. That's where I leave it hanging. Now, after the intro, we're going to start in with that melody. Here's what it sounds like. I'm combining that finger picking pattern with the melody. Mm -hmm. 
So you'll notice there's just basically two chords there, the A minor and the G, like in the intro. And we're doing the same finger picking pattern, but we've added the pinch. <laughs> Let's do that pinch together. Make your A minor chord. I'm gonna pinch on the fifth string and the third string. Using my second finger, by the way, for the third string. Here we go. Pinch, one, two, one. Now I'm gonna pinch with my third finger on the first string. Pinch, one, two, one. Then over to the G chord. So let's just do that much. Here we go. A minor, pinch, that's the fifth and the third. Pinch, two, one, two, one. Pinch on the high string. Pinch. And then to the G chord, you're gonna stretch the third finger over to the sixth string, third fret. Pinch on the second string with the third finger. Pinch. Back to the A minor. So try that with me. G, third finger, third fret, pinch on the second string and the sixth string. Pinch, first finger goes to the fourth string. Now, first finger in the left hand on the first fret, and then take the first finger in the left hand off, and onto the A minor. So in the right hand, it's pinch, one, three, one, three, one. So do that with me nice and slow. We're pinching on the sixth string and the second string. Ready? I'll call out the right hand. Go. Pinch, one, three, one, three, one. Now pinch with the A minor. Like the intro. And then repeat that. And I let that last note hang. I don't complete the phrase. Time for some new chords. We've got the C chord. Actually, an E minor, and the E minor is very simple. It's basically <laughs> all open notes. You'll see when we play it, we're not playing some of the other strings. And then the chord, that I don't know what to call this. I'll call it exotic chord for right now. I might have named it in a tab, I just don't remember. So let's start with that C chord. Listen. Do you notice a D chord in there? I forgot to mention that. So C chord, first finger on the second string, first fret, over to the fourth string, second fret, and fifth string, third fret. Basic folk style C chord. We're gonna pinch on the fifth string and the first string. I'm using my third finger for the high E string. And then go up with the first and second fingers up the notes of the chord, hitting one note at a time. So listen. And when I get to the high E, I put my pinky down on the third fret to, to make the next melody note. Try that with me. Pinch on the fifth and first strings. First finger, second finger, first. Now the second finger and put the pinky down. And slide up to this chord, the exotic chord. Pinky on the fifth fret, first string. Third finger on the fifth fret, third string. The second string's open. And I'm hitting the bass note in the A string. Notice in the left hand, I start with a pinky there, and the last note, I move my first finger down to the third fret. Part of the melody. So in the right hand, I'm pinching fifth and first string, then first finger, second finger, first finger, third finger for that first string per note. Try it with me. Ready? Go. Pinch. One, one two, one, three, down to the D chord now. I move my thumb to the fourth string. So I make the D chord, by the way, by putting my first and second fingers next to each other on the second frets, leaving the second string open. That's the third string and the first string. Third finger in between on the third fret of the second string. Then I'm gonna take my second finger off to make that melody note. See, I need an open E there. That's the high string. So I'll start with a pinch, first finger on the third string, now I'm gonna put the second finger down, back to the third string, and then the second string, oh, it's not open, it's the third finger there, and back to the third string. Try that with me. D chord, take the second finger off, pinch the four and the one. Now put the second finger down, and this time the second string, 
and goes to the A minor from there. So one more time, slow. Ready, hit it. Pinch, put the second finger down, to the second string, and onto the A minor. You know that part from the intro. Let's try that whole phrase slowly from the C chord. We'll start with a pinch. Ready, go. Pinch. Pinky down. Slide up to the exotic chord. Now the first finger goes to the third fret. D chord. Down. Second string to the A minor. And repeat that. Let it hang without finishing that last note in the phrase. Now this phrase is going to use that exotic chord again. Listen. Start with the exotic chord that's pinky on the fifth fret of the first string. And I'm going to put my third finger over here on the fifth fret of the third string. A is your bass note, that's A string, the fifth string. Let's pinch. So in the right hand, I'm pinching, and then first finger, second finger, first finger, and back to the first string with the third finger. Ready? Try it. Come on, we got this. Go, pinch. Huh? How'd you do? Come, try it again. Come on. I'll call out the right hand. Pinch, one, two, one, three, and stop there. Slide that pinky down to the third fret. This is actually an E minor chord now. We're gonna pinch on the low sixth string and the high E string, but I've got my pinky there to make it a G note, third fret. And then open. So in the right hand, it's pinch, one, two, one, three, and I'm You got it. Go ahead and let's pinch it together. Ready? Go. Pinch. One, two, one, three in the right hand. Now we're going on to the A minor. We got a little melody going here. So it's high E, this note D to the C before we go on to the G chord. Let's do that. A minor. We're going to pinch. First finger, pinky down, first finger, pinky up, and we're going to pinch the G chord with the thumb and the second string open. Try that much with me. A minor, pinch on the high E string and the sixth, fifth string, fifth string. Here we go. Pinch, pinky down, pinky up, to the G. Let's do that G chord. Start with this basic pattern. Pinch. One, two, one, two, one. In the left hand, the strings are just all open except the third fret here with my third finger. So in the right hand, I'm pinching with my third finger and the thumb. Pinch, then first finger, second, first, second, first. Try that much with me. Ready, pinch. One, two, one. Now we got a little melody going here. Thumb, one, two, one, two, one. In the left hand, I'm doing the sixth string, fourth string, third string, putting the second finger down on the third string, open second string, and open third string. The right hand, it's thumb, one, two, one, two, one. Try it with me. Ready, go. Thumb, one, two, one, two, one. So that whole phrase, let's try it together. We're starting from, ah oh yes, the exotic chord. Let's do it. Let's start off with a pinch. I'll call out the finger in the right hand. Can't do both. Ready, pinch, one, two, one, three. Slide it down to the third fret. Pinch, sixth string. And three. A minor chord. To the G. Pinch. One, two, one. Thumb. One, two, one, two, one. <laughs> I 
you like that. You can sing along if you want. Okay, now we're at the final phrase. Listen, and the only thing different here is I've got an E minor chord going. Watching, I'm using my pinky with it to make the melody. I'll start on A minor chord. It's a G, E minor, ending on the A minor, just like the starting. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the A minor chord, pinch. And then the melody with the third finger and the high E. So in the right hand, it's pinch one, two, one, three. And that's a high E with the three. Try that much. A minor, pinch the fifth and the third. I'll count out the right hand. Ready? Pinch one, two, one, three. To the G chord, third finger over to the third fret on the sixth string. Now the pinky goes down on the third fret of the second string. That's to make the melody you know, right there. So we're going to pinch those. And then I'm going to end it with a first finger on the first fret. So in the right hand, I'll call out the numbering of the fingering. Pinch, one, two, one, three. And then it goes to that E minor. Try that much with me. Just make your G chord with the third finger on the third fret of the sixth string, pinky down on the third fret of the second string. And we're going to pinch it. I'm using my third finger in the right hand. Ready, go. Pinch, one, two, one, three. And then to the E minor, we're gonna pinch the low sixth string and the second string open. Here's the melody, I'm using my pinky down on the second fret, open. And I'm gonna end up on the A minor. So let's try that, just the E minor. I'm gonna pinch, I'm gonna call out the right hand, pinching the sixth string and the second string. Pinch, one, two, one, two. And notice I take my pinky off when I hit two here. And then to the A minor, it's a pinch. With me, come on. Ready? Pinch, one, two, pinky down, pinky up. And now to the A minor, pinching the fifth and third. Right? You know that pattern. Okay, let's just do that very ending part just to make sure we got it. We're gonna pinch the fifth and the third. Ready, go. Pinch, one, two, one, two, one, and thumb, one, two, one, two. Let's do that whole phrase once through, slowly. Start with the A minor, pinch the five and the three strings. Pinch. First string to the G, pinky down to the first finger, to the E minor chord, pinky down, pinky up, and back to the A minor. Finish it up. Ah, good work, that's the end of it. Okay, I'm gonna play it once through slowly. Now you can either try playing along with me or if you want, you can just listen and just hear how it all fits together. I'll leave that call up to you. So here it goes.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. And don't worry if it takes a little time to get it. It's something that you work at over time and you'll get better and better. Now, I have went ahead and written out the tablature for this and I'll give you a link down in below so that you can get a hold of that. I think it'll really help you out here. Thanks again for joining me and I look forward to seeing you again. Oh, by the way, give me a thumbs up, please. And uh, write something in the comment field. I appreciate it. Bye for now.